it going? Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. She goes from like very, very sweet away from the van until like I'll kill you. It's a dog that just tried to push a Volkswagen out of the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. So it's okay. We'll give they her a little. They do move one ton cattle. Exactly. Whenever you're ready, you can kind of give me the lowdown on what you want to accomplish and your history and all that stuff. She's a year and a half now. Um, I do e-collar. She's, she's very good with it. She's very responsive. At this point, she responds almost always to just the buzzing noise. You know, clearly I live in the camper um, and I camp with groups of people in the middle of nowhere. Every single person that comes up to my van gets like attacked. She'll put her mouth around like their hand or their leg. She oh, won't bite. Okay. She is a healer, so she is Maui. Right. Um, she has very, very, very good bite control, and if you say ow, she freezes. That's the only time I have no control over her is when someone is walking up to the house. So it's like territorial aggression. If I go sit in a restaurant or something and she's sitting under the table, that becomes an area that she needs to protect. So she barks at the waiters and waitresses. And My friend that I'm staying at right now was testing her a little bit. She actually kind of bit him. She got his hand and, and, and did a, a small cut one tooth. That's what triggered me to just say, I have to, I have to do this. Okay. Um, what about like on the leash when you're out of the uh, never. home? Okay. Never. Interesting. She appears to most people as a, like a super friendly, loving dog, but, but you come near my house and it's terrifying. Right. Interesting. Now, when you are using the stimulation on the remote collar, what levels have you used to correct her for that behavior? And is it successful. If she's going after someone barking and I and I do a stim, mm -hmm. to her that means that that person's attacking her and she goes okay. harder. Have you used a leash correction for the reactivity in the van at all? No, she's almost never on a leash because okay. uh, we're usually out in the wild. Right. So she's, she's out doing her own thing. I have full trust in her. I know she's not going to go more than like two, three hundred feet away from me. Mm -hmm. like, I don't have to pay attention to her because she won't go that far. So she's, she doesn't have much leash, leash correction. I want you to walk her around on the oh. leash and I want to see how she is with you just, and you can use whatever equipment that you want to. Bella, heel. Good girl. So many interesting things for her to sniff at. Bella. Look. Look. <laughs> hey, heal. It doesn't matter what you ask her to do. If you ask her to heal, or you ask her to sit, you ask her to leave it or whatever, and you have to kind of like pry her to that position, then when you're in the van and you say leave it or place or whatever, it's gonna be the same thing. And that is gonna be like a heavier distraction, obviously. If, if it's one out of five, this would be a one, that would be a five. Yep. Again, because your relationship and lifestyle with her is different from a lot of other dog owners in a, in a good way, where normally when dogs come in, they never, they're never getting off leash, they're never exploring, they're never hiking, they're never you know, traveling the country as much as what she is. So with her, like you said, is inside being on the leash is going to be a little bit challenging, but that will give you an opportunity to tune up some of this stuff. Because if you have to ask her to heal that many times, it's going to be the same thing with leave it when we start using that in the yep. van. So what this will do is it'll kind of reinforce some of the, hey, pay attention to me. Because right now what she's doing is she's like, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy. Yeah. Ooh, and you're constantly having to get her back into line. So this will be like a good leash to start using to start reinforcing these things, kind of getting her back on track a little bit. So when you tell her to heal and she goes out of it, use this to reinforce. And you could use your ah, -ah to like yep. mark it and yeah. cue it together. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, good. Heal. Good. So you see how that like pop got her attention there? Yeah. That was good. So I'm just feeling her kind of on the on the line here and I'm using my peripherals and I'm and I'm just kind of giving her a little bit of pressure if she's not into place. So it's not as um, robotic, if you will. So it's more like fluid. So if you're here, yep. So what you don't want to do is, there were a couple times where she was like, and then you stop too. Yeah. So just kind of keep moving forward to keep her moving. Cause right now she's in a habit, <laughs> she's in a habit of just like, hey, what's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? And then if she stops and puts on the brakes and then you stop, again, you're, she's kind of like teaching you what, what you want yeah, her to do. Bella. There you go. Good. Good heel. Good. 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 So when she slides into that position and gives you that engagement, that's where you can reward her verbally. In your world with her, when there's nothing going on, she's going to be as good as a dog as you yeah. want. Yeah. 
but in transition in situations where she's not comfortable or she whatever gets a wild hair those are the situations that you're having in the van. That's yeah. why, like you said, like anytime she's in the field, anytime, whatever, she's, so 99% of the time she's great. Yeah. No, no problems. Yeah. It is frustrating maybe for you as a dog owner to say like, it almost seems like you're backtracking off leash. She's great. She recalls, she heals well, she's responsive. And then you put her on leash inside of a box and she doesn't do as well. Yeah. So it's like, what the hell? Like I said, in the, in the van, once we start transitioning to the place command, the touch command, all that stuff to really start moving her around, because what's going to happen is, is again in here, she's like, I don't really want to do this because all of this is going on and I'd rather visit these things because that's my mentality. Right. So, so just give her that pressure to say, hey, come on, let's go. And then when she gets into that place and she kind of speeds up to you, that's where you're like, good heel, yeah. good. All right, you guys, if you don't know about the No Bad Dog official members club, it's a subscription members club where you guys are getting the full videos of what you're seeing right here on YouTube. So you guys are seeing the 15, 20 minute videos here on YouTube and on the subscription club, you're getting the entire video. Sometimes it's over an hour long. You're also getting a lot of unreleased footage that we get and we pull from different seminars and different sessions that we just don't put on here on YouTube. It's also an awesome community of dog owners that are empowering each other. It's a safe place to talk and ask questions about your dogs without getting ridiculed on the internet. I'm really excited and proud of the No Bad Dog members club. Click the link in the description below to join now. Does she know place or does she, she not? She does not know okay. place. We can use uh, this this bowl here, which is like a, just a trough bowl. Okay. So this can be place or this can be whatever you want. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll get the leash, we'll get some food out, we'll say touch, we'll teach her what this is. And then we can transfer this to other things. Like in your van, you could have this little, whatever you want, could be anything from a garbage bag to whatever. We can transfer this touch to anything. We can transfer it to a chair. We can transfer it to a stump. We can transfer it to a rock. Once we teach her what touch is, we can basically point at something, hey, go there. Okay. Then we'll work on the stay. So that will be helpful in situations in the restaurant more than the van because the van's a smaller space. So if you tell her to go to her touch, she's still gonna be reactive. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna work on that, but we need to be able to send her away to a location. Okay. To say like, yeah. go over there. Well, we're gonna work on the stay. Yeah. Open the van, that person can come in or you could go out. She's gotta stay there until yeah. you, re especially because she's already e-collar trained, it'll be easy. I know that it's not gonna be predictable on every occasion, yeah. but when she goes out, you're gonna recall her and send her back. Okay. This I'm is just... something even when she's being reactive, she needs to respond to. Yeah, you. we're gonna work on the recall, yeah. but we're also gonna work on the send away. Yeah. So you technically should be able to get out of your van and go say hi, and she comes darting out, and you can send her back, because you can't recall her, because she's gonna be barking at the person you're talking yeah. to. Yes, good place, good job, break. Good, that was the first time she did it on her own accord, without the lure, so that was great. We come in for my dog's reactive at the van. What are we doing basic obedience for? Well, if we came in and that heel was perfect and every time we turned, the dog turned and every time we said sit, by the time we say T, the dog's gonna sit, then we would start moving into steps of some of that stuff. It's kind of like we could cheaply go to the van and kind of cut corners and say, okay, let's basically punish the dog for reacting, but it's like, then what do we do after that? That's why we're developing and building some of these behaviors as we incrementally go. My job over the next couple of days is to not only just like go after the problem, but to go after universally, let's make everything better with your relationship. At some point, what we'll do is when we get the reactivity in the van, the leave it is gonna be the command we're gonna to use to say, hey, knock it off. I'm not even gonna ask her to SIT, I'm just gonna leave it, leave it. So we're not gonna pay her there because she didn't do it in the beginning. Leave it. Yes. Good, leave it. Equal or greater food. Good, leave it. And I know it's it's like, you know, I feel bad a little bit, but it'll play out for her. Leave it. Yes, good, leave it. Good, leave it. Heel. So this is also good for your obedience, such as heel. That way when we do leave it, it's, it's fair. Because we can't say like, hey, don't bark. We can, but how do we work on that if the dog isn't actively barking? We have to work on it while they're doing it, which isn't fair because that's the real game. And if they don't have any pre-existing exposure to not do it, it's really challenging. That's why we just have a degree of, I want to do something and you can't, which is what we're doing. Leave it. Good, leave it. Break. Break. Go get it. <laughs> Good job. Bring it here. Good job. Leave it. Back into a sit. Uh, 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 sit. Leave it. 
And we'll, we'll work on this until we get it. Because yep. this is going to be me, kind of, at some point. Like, oh, I got to get that. Yeah. Leave it. Nice. Break. 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 Good. That was much better. Good. Hey, you guys, we're doing a giveaway on the Tom Davis Dogger 280C on this video. All you have to do to enter to win is subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification, like this video, and leave a comment down below to enter to win. The prong collar is probably going to be better because every time that she's had a reaction, the e-collar hasn't been activated at all. I think the prong collar is going to be like a better first line of defense for you and your handling with her. Okay. Because if you have the prong collar on and you correct her like in the van, are you correct her for reacting to dogs? That's gonna be more immediate. I don't think the e-collar is gonna be like, it's not gonna be accessible for you in those situations. I was hitting it. <clears throat> Problem is, is when she's like that, she ignores it. What level were you at? Uh, that was that was only a 13. So that's what I mean is like, if you're not fluid to like, I would've went to a, that, I would've went to as high as, I yeah. would've cranked it. In situations like that, when she comes running out of the van, I mean, if that car was going any faster or something and clipped her, yeah. you know, that would've broke her leg yep. or worse. Normally I'm quicker, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was slow there. That's the difference between life and death with most dogs is just, oh shit, I'm usually better. Usually doesn't, doesn't matter. You have to be on top of that, <clears throat> like make sure if you're not prepared to get her back quick, I would just keep her on a leash. You could have went up probably to a 30 and she wouldn't have blinked. Yeah. That's something that you have to go high 70s to get her out of. Yeah. But it's a perfect example of exactly like why we, you know, have the e-collar. And when you're in different environments, such as, you know, more of a commercial industrial space rather than, you know, a trailhead or yeah. a camping ground, it's going to be different for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. So she wakes up, uh, comes out of bed, sees a car, zoop. Well, that probably doesn't happen in your normal no. daily wake up stuff. Yeah. So with that being said is either keeping her on a leash and or making sure that you're really tuned up on your e-collar and you're almost ready to go if she, because you never know, you open that door yeah, and you can see out, but you just never know what's coming on. Now we're gonna go work out the van stuff. This is like where he has the hardest time with her is when you go up to the van, she reacts crazy. So we have the Tom Davis 280C remote collar where we're gonna be using a little bit of the pager. We have a Herm Springer prong collar on and all we're doing is she's going zero to 100 or zero to 10 so quick and we have to deflect that and meet her there. They have this much space in the van to work on this. There's no redirection, there's no avoidance. This is the life that he lives with her and we wanna make sure that they can do it comfortably without her feeling like she has to protect the van like some sort of medieval battle that she's having in her own head about protecting her castle. So that's what we're gonna go work on right now. So right now we're just doing some corrections with the prong. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Reposition the prong so it's like on the side. I'm sorry, the e-collar. Try this again. Leave it, leave it. So I'm just using the pager a little bit in conjunction with your- uh, Leave it. Leash corrections there. Leave it, leave it. She's reacting to the buzzer leave like a yeah. like a bug is flying around yeah. her head. Yep, that's what you want. Every time that she starts growling, that turns on and she's like, hey, what's that? Okay. That's uncomfortable. It's a it's a discouragement, but it's also something that just kind of comes up right when she's reacting yeah. and snaps her out of it. And the moment she goes and then and she stops, it shuts off. Yeah. And our goal is to like teach her, well, when you do her, that turns on. And when you do that, it shuts off yeah. and you get paid. Pager's working pretty decent. She's just got such a high drive that it's hard. So we'll keep at it. Leave, leave it. Good, leave it. Good. Good, leave it. That little like accept and growl is okay, right? That's yeah, like it's kind of like her like kind of cooling down, yeah, I think. Yeah. So that was good. So at that time we got up and we just got a little bit of a growl instead of the full, I mean, before she was coming out. So first step, I like it. Do it again. Good, leave it. Good, leave it. Good, good. good. So it. we'll take that. <laughs> it's all suppression. Right, it's all just getting her to do something she doesn't really want to do, like anything else in life, right? Yeah. Like I want to stay up till 3 a.m. and watch YouTube videos, but I can't because I'll be tired, right? Yeah. So it's it's suppression. We deal with that every day. So with her, when she's like, okay, I don't, I'm not gonna react. I'm not, and I'm not, and I'm not. I haven't used this in a in a couple yeah, goes anyway. It. Yeah, it's good. So I, I haven't used it. So she's making such a better decision to lay down and look at me and go, hmm. But I would just kind of like let her soak. I wouldn't say anything unless she comes after me. Okay. 
and I wouldn't necessarily pay her when she's growling. I would just let her figure this out. Okay. Because she's going to learn, hopefully, the next couple times we do this, that the moment she comes after at the end of the leash aggressively, the pressure turns on, and the moment she just lays down and does her best to deal with her demons, uh, yeah. nothing happens. Good job. Yeah, good. So that like little avoidance thing is good because that's where that's where the um, corrections have come in to where she's like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Yeah, it feels like she's doing very good. Yeah, 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 I would, I would totally agree. We're not out of the woods, but for her to lay down and growl a little bit from completely losing her mind to then her disengaging and then going to eat in the other side of the van yep. is, is a good step for yeah, us. And not growling at you right now. Yeah, right. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. What I want to do is take the take the um, vibrate collar. Yeah, and just and just make sure that it's got good contact with the skin. Jostle around. Yeah. Yep. Make sure it's got good contact. Yep. Nice and snug. Leave it. There. See, so I started using some of the stem there. Yep. The stem before wasn't connected, so I just used the stem on like a 13. That's okay. where you saw that. Like, yeah. oh. Sh Good, leave it. Good, leave it. And as much as this is like antagonizing her, this is just what you deal with. Yeah, yeah. So we have to, you know, I don't love doing it, but yeah. you know, you know yeah. what I mean? Good, <laughs> that's better. Even though she's looking at me like yeah, she's the growling. devil. All right, so we, we started using the stem a little bit. So like I was saying before, is I don't ever use the stem or it's been very rare that I've used the stem for a correction on a dog. But because she's already pre-exposed pre to the remote collar stimulation, we're gonna start using it as more pressure. A lot of you guys ask me all the time because I do so much videos on how to introduce it um, in a way that the dog just loves it. We don't really go over a ton of corrections with the remote collar, except using the pager as a vibrate. So here, because she's pre-existed to it, she knows how to shut it off. She knows where it's coming from. And in this case, it's been helpful. So now we're gonna tie everything together. We went a couple different routes, we're brainstorming, and we're gonna see if, uh, see if this works and then we'll end the session. So good, that's beautiful. That avoidance is great. So you can pay her for that. Good, good, good. leave it. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but Down. what she did is because I corrected her before. So her reactivity is what got her the punishment, is what made the levels of the remote collar come up. Her reactivity is so severe. And she went after a car this morning and it almost got nicked there. So this is very serious and, and life-threatening. We have to make sure she knows she cannot get away with that stuff. So now when I just walked up, she avoided, she avoided the situation and completely like, was like, all right, I don't want anything to do with this whole reactivity stuff. So that was great. Very good. good Very leave good. It. Good decision. Good, leave it, fella. good, leave good it. decision, B. That's what we were looking for there. Is again, we stayed around a 10 and we were discouraging that reactivity with the remote collar stimulation. And again, usually humans don't feel it on their face till about a six or seven. I've made, I've made many videos about people feeling it on their wrist around 20 to 18, whatever. So that was really good. So we're using that stimulation to discourage that behavior. The last time I went up, she's like, I want nothing to do with this reactivity stuff because it gets me in trouble. We pay the dog. It's all groovy, baby. That was awesome. So I just want to give you my game plan as we move forward. So with Bella, what we're gonna be doing is primarily working on the van stuff because that's what we need to do. We just wanna make sure that we're conditioning with the remote collar often. The more you use that low level stem, the more it's gonna make sense when you use it as a correction like we talked about. As far as finding those conditioning levels, it's, and this kind of goes for you guys too, is as soon as you get that, like you were kind of at, you were wondering why we weren't getting any like physical attributions to, is the collar working? Right when you start to get this tick of like, hey, what's this? It's kind of like a fly landing on a horse. They just, they twitch like that. They're like, what is this? That's starting to mess with the corrective levels. What a correction looks like in the beginning of the lower spectrum of punishment is going to be a neck twitch, <laughs> nothing crazy. So once you start getting that physical, like, hey, I can feel this, you wanna go either a level or two right below that. Anyway, so with her levels, is when you're handling her, there were a couple times when you were healing her and she would kind of twitch out a little bit. And so, like you said, I don't know what was a correction and what wasn't, but just make sure that when you are just kind of getting her attention to come on, we're gonna be at those conditioning levels, not those uncomfortable levels. I'm gonna do a little surprise technique here and grab the chuck it, cause she loves the chuck it. And I wanna see if that makes a difference. Leave it. How are we doing? 
Good. That was really good. Yeah. Wow. That was much better. She's a quick learner. Just needed to know how to teach it to her. That was really good. So she's made a way better decision because we fine-tuned her on the remote collar. And so she's saying, hey, instead of getting corrected, I'm just not going to do it. And then so, I paid her. <clears throat> now we're going to do this again, except I'm going to give her a higher reward, which is going to be the so, ball. Good. My only concern is, is throwing the ball and having her come out of the van. Good. I'm hoping that she goes after the ball and not after my leg. So we'll see. All right. Yeah. She started to growl and a 10 dissuaded her immediately. Great. Much better. Super happy with that. Ready? Okay, break. Good. There you go. Good, and now you can just hang out with her. Good girl, cool. good break. Break, come on. Good job, baby. Good job. Good job. Yeah, now she wants now you she... to throw. Push ball. Okay, okay. All right, very good. All right, so that was wonderful. A little suspicious of how good it went. Whenever, it's, sometimes it's too good to be true, sometimes it is. So the real test is gonna be when I use my other trainers as bait and then we'll see how she does with that. So just step up just a little bit. She's gonna be on the leash. Back. Good. And then that's good right there. Good. Good. That's much better. Much, much better. Can I pay her for that? Yeah. Okay. Well, good girl. Good. Good. And then we'll just walk back out and we'll go back in again. That was the best. Do you want to shut the door and we'll reset just 30 seconds? Sure. Good. Leave it. Good. Leave it. Good. She seems to have picked up on it pretty quickly. Well, that e-collar, I think, I don't think your e-collar was... I don't think it was making contact I don't properly. think it was making contact. I think that's why she was listening to the tone. Yeah. That's why she... I was also scared to use it when, because I didn't have a leash on and it would cause her to go extra. Like, yeah. She would go harder at the person walking up because she thought that they were biting her yeah. or something like that. Yep. Um, I think now we've trained her that this means you know, along with the leave it command, yeah. it, it means that just that that's not acceptable. Right. Don't, don't and, do that. And you want to counter the, the, this to like pay. So yeah. if you can get sneaky and give people treats before they come over. And then if she's like this and she's calm, then they pay her. Yeah. If they're not comfortable, just throw it up in the air. Yeah. So, it'll, I think it'll be easy. Cause uh, like I said, I'm usually parked in the middle of nowhere with friends. Right. So they can all have a set of treats that they can walk up yep. with. Um, okay. I'm going to do this again. I'm just going to grab somebody else. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Julia. Yeah, I mean, I feel uh, pretty excellent, actually. Um, it was exactly what I was expecting. Um, I've been watching his videos for about a year now, and uh, I knew that she was smart enough to understand what needed to happen. I just didn't know how to do it myself. And I knew that I needed to be trained and I wanted him to do it. And it, it feels perfect. It feels like I got exactly what I needed out of it. And I'm excited to go bring it into real life and see how she reacts. 